this example, we are going to find the domain of each of the two variable functions. Okay. So the first function that we have is uh, we have f of x, y equals to x squared plus y squared. And that is pictured over here uh, to the right that you see. Okay. So in this case, there is, if just by inspection, there's no restriction on x or y. Okay, we're not dividing by any, we're not dividing by any variables here. Um, there's no square roots. So basically, x and, there's no there's no limits. Um, there's no limitation on x and y. Okay. So for each for every x and y value, we can always get a, uh, a z value. Okay. And again, z is just the uh, this is just the name of the output. Okay. So we call this z. Okay. So the way we write this, okay, we write it in terms of using what's called set notation. So we're going to let d be the domain. We have, it's the collection of your x and y values. In other words, a collection of your coordinate values such that x is between minus infinity and positive infinity. And the same with y. It's between negative infinity and positive infinity. Okay, so over here, okay, so this is the graph of it. We actually call this a, an elliptic paraboloid. Okay, so the way that, the way you can think about this, okay, um, if you if you notice, okay, so remember that this is your this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this is the z axis. So when z is zero, it's actually down here. That corresponds to when x and y is zero. Okay, so When x and y is zero, this is going to be uh, the value of z you get is zero. Okay. So as you work your way up, okay, notice that this, okay, x squared plus y squared, okay, when we write like this, you can. This is basically just an equation of a circle uh, with the with the origin. The origin is going to be located along the z-axis here. Okay, so for each value of c, you're getting an equation of a circle, uh, except at the origin, and that's where x and y is equal to zero. Okay, so you can just picture this as uh, there's, okay, for various z values, you're getting these concentric circles. Okay, so I'll just sketch a few of them in there just to give you an idea. Okay, so these circles that you see, okay, you can think about it as planes. Okay, so they're basically, it's, you have uh, planes, horizontal planes slicing through at each z value. Okay, so these are, okay, these are actually what's called traces. Okay, the traces are, is what, uh, is what was revealed along the two-dimensional surface. Okay, uh, for the second one, the second one we we have us we have that z again. This is just z is equal to the square root of one minus x squared minus y squared. So there we have to be a little careful because we have a square root now. So for this, for square roots, remember for anything for graphing purposes, we are considering only real values. Okay, so square roots. Okay, square roots can only take on uh, values that are bigger or equal to zero. Okay, so we're going to look at, we're going to take this expression underneath the square root and and set it, uh, we're going to have that going to be, it's going to be greater or equal to zero. So in other words, we have that 1 minus x squared minus y squared is going to be greater or equal to zero. So this is actually going to lead us uh, this is going to give us the, the restrictions on what x and y can be. So solving this, OK, 
Okay, we can we want to solve this uh, for x squared and y squared. So this is going to be um, I can move the I can move subtract one from both sides. And then divide by one. Oops. So that means I need to change the sign. Okay, so this is this is the restrictions. Okay, this tells us what x and y have to be. Okay, so let's write this formally for the second one. So the domain is going to be again, it's the set of coordinates x and y such that. In this case, okay, x squared plus y squared have to has to be less than or equal to one. Okay, so the so this is the figure that you see below here. Okay, for the second one. So if you think about it, okay, you can think of this as uh, there's circles here. Okay, so these are circles. Uh, this this graph here consists of circles where the radius is uh, less or equal to one. So when z when I'm sorry when x and y is equal to zero, okay. In this case, uh, this is going to give you the value of z equals to z equals to one. Okay. So that means that's going to be just this point on top. Okay. All right. So um, actually, well, let's see. When x and y is zero, it's going to be yeah, z will be one. So you just get this point right here. Oops, sorry. Okay. So as you okay, so as you go, as you start to work your way down along the z-axis then you start to get these co-centric circles and that's where this restriction is coming into play okay so on the bottom okay when when z is zero okay when z is zero you're going to actually get uh, the equation x squared plus y squared equals to one okay so when z is equal to zero this is going to give you the equation of a circle centered at the origin with radius of one. So that's that's what you see on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm just going in there, okay. So that's for the value of z equals zero. So you get these uh, you get very you get these various circles uh, between uh, between z equals zero and z equals one and the, the radius of those circles vary between uh, between one and and zero okay